Researchers at the University of Cincinnati have discovered a shot of medication used with weight loss surgery could make a big difference in the results. Local 12's Liz Bonas shares the details in today's Medical Edge. Many people struggling with weight loss turn to a surgery similar to the one doctors are performing here. It is called gastric banding. A band is placed around the gut to shrink the size of the stomach. Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey just had this type of surgery. He said it was to avoid gastric bypass, which is a surgery which reroutes the intestines. The downside? The gastric band uh, is less effective than the Roux and Y gastric bypass. Or at least it was until now. Kirk Habegger is an obesity researcher who had a theory about why this was true. So every theory starts with a hypothesis. Sure. What started yours? Uh, one of the key hormones that has changed during the bypass surgery, uh, the more invasive version, uh, is a, 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 a hormone called a glucagon-like peptide 1. Uh, and it's actually been uh, utilized as a therapeutic. Uh, most people know it as a uh, bieta. That's right. He recently found that this hormone, which is called GLP-1, in the injectable drug for diabetes, known as bieta, can even out the results of these two surgeries. In lab studies, he found GLP-1 with gastric banding enhances weight loss. The hormone appears to help alter appetite. So it sounds like in the end what you've developed is still uh, a result that comes from eating less food. It, it definitely suppresses the drive to eat. The goal now is to see if further studies show that those who have gastric banding can lose more weight with two therapies instead of one. By combining uh, the, uh, the FDA approved drug that we already have with the procedure uh, that we already use, uh, hopefully we can uh, uh, have a combination therapy that is less invasive. At the University of Cincinnati Reading campus, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. Okay, the drug does have some side effects, so right now further studies do need to be conducted to see what happens when this medication is used for a long period of time with the weight loss surgery, not just in lab studies, but in people too, as always, consult your doctor. A big night tonight for some hip-hop.